It's been raining for pretty much all day across some of our southeastern Kentucky counties, and it hasn't just been some pesky light rain. In fact, at times it's been moderate and even heavy, which is kind of rising some of those water levels across our southeastern Kentucky counties, raising some concerns for flooding even here late tonight. But over to our Max Track Live Doppler around the bluegrass, we're starting to see some of those showers breaking apart just a little bit. Another surge of some light rain is starting to track through. But to the north and west of Lexington, things have been relatively dry through the uh, park of your Saturday night. Some areas of dense fog though could become a concern as we go into the wee hours of the morning, but still across our southeastern Kentucky counties. This is just where a swath of moisture has been tracking in really one round after another as we've been going throughout the day. And still there's even more rain to come. You'll notice there is a direct path to the Gulf of Mexico that is continuing to send all of these showers northward through portions of Mississippi and Alabama across much of Tennessee and of course now into the Commonwealth as well. It even continues on up into New England at this hour. Now, as we go through the overnight hours, we're still going to continue to track the potential for more of that steady rain, especially to the south and east. We're still, we have a flood watch. It's going to stay into a, in effect until 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Pretty much if you live to the south of I-64, you are included in that watch. Meanwhile, further to the south and east, we have a few flood warnings, and these are going to run for the next couple of hours as rising water levels have been reported across southeastern Kentucky, even leading to some water-covered roadways. So if you must travel, either late tonight or early tomorrow morning. Be aware that you could be interacting with that. And as a reminder, turn around, don't drown. You never want to drive through a flooded roadway. Now, as we go through the overnight hours, as I mentioned, things are still going to be fairly wet across our southern and southeastern counties. There still could be some swaths and some moderate to even heavy rain falling. Meanwhile, around the bluegrass, for the most part, just some drizzle, even some patchy showers will be possible into the morning. And those temperatures starting off in the 40s, and we will hit our high temperature early in the day. And for the most part, showers are going to be off and on. But then watch what happens after this batch of showers tracks through. Temperatures already approaching freezing in Covington. Meanwhile, it's the upper 50s to near 60 degrees across southern Kentucky. Temperatures then continue to fall as we're finally going to begin to see some chillier air moving in on the back side. Showers still linger across our southern and southeastern counties into the second half of the day tomorrow. Then we will all be dealing with the chill into Monday. There even will be the potential that we could be seeing a little bit of freezing rain, not a widespread thing as we look towards Monday morning. Now we've already seen two to even three inches or more of rain uh, picked up across southern and southeastern Kentucky. In those same locations, you could be picking up an additional one to two inches throughout the day tomorrow. That's part of the reason why we are going to keep that flood watch in effect. So showers do continue tonight. Some periods of heavier rain again to the south and southeast. Tomorrow, showers become more off and on, stays gloomy if it's not raining. We're also turning chilly during the second half of the day. We'll hit our high of 46 early on before dropping closer to freezing by Monday morning. And again, we're only tracking some patchy freezing rain into Monday morning. Otherwise, conditions will be improving into the second half of the day. Then we quickly shake the chill with highs back into the 50s, even the low 60s by Thursday. But still, a lot more rain is heading our way. More LEX18 news is coming up.